in my past life, like I said, I was you. I was you. I was you. What you are now, that's what I'm up here. I, same mentality. I'm getting to a spot. I'm raising up. I'm getting to a, a, a bucket. My footwork is impeccable. I have length. I'm able to shoot over top, hold, hold the follow through, and I don't see people. I, 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 hey, man. That is from the desk of Kyrie Irving. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't get him. I, I don't. I don't get him. I don't try to get him. I, look, man. What do, what do y'all want from me? What do y'all want from me in this video? I don't get him. Not my cup of tea. Incredible basketball talent. And by the way, before we go on with this video, congratulations to Kyrie Irving. Joined an exclusive club, that 50-40-90 club. 50% shooting from the field, 40% from the three-point line, 90% from the free throw line. Did you know, did you know, did you know? Kyrie became only the fourth player of all time to not only join the 50-40-90 club, but do it while averaging 25 points per game in a season. Only other guys to do that? Larry Bird. Steph Curry and Kyrie's current teammate, Kevin Durant, did it in the past as well. Congratulations to Kyrie on quite the accomplishment. Let's call a spade. He's been incredible on the court, but anytime he's not on that court, I'm, I'm concerned about Kyrie. Seriously. he I get concerned about Kyrie Irving. He is weird. And let me be clear about this. Two things can be true. Kyrie Irving is doing some incredible stuff in the community, especially for people like me. I'm an African-American. I'm black. All right? I love what Kyrie Irving, some of the moves he's made in the community. Love it. Like, these are just undeniable moves. Like, there, I've seen many random stories on social media that have been confirmed, by the way, of people just bumping into Kyrie Irving, and he's just a guy that just does acts of kindness, right? He paid for them WNBA players' salaries last year going into the bubble or when they missed time, right? Just do, he just does great stuff. He's, he did countless drives and giveaways and He's done incredible stuff with his money, and I'll never take that away from Kyrie Irving. But I think Kyrie oftentimes, and I'm saying this because also to go along with that IG Live with KD, Kyrie also went up to the podium and said basketball isn't the most important thing to him right now. Again, it turns me off as a fan. I'm a fan, right, before anything else. The playoffs are starting. Kyrie, I don't want to hear that right now. Like, like for me, Kyrie forgets how he made his money. If you didn't know any better, you thought Kyrie made his millions and millions of dollars through activism, right? He acts like he made his money through just having a college degree and becoming a scientist or something like that, becoming an activist, but whatever, like whatever it is, it's like he forgets he made pretty much all his money because of his talents on the court. I don't, look, I don't believe you got to be a guy that avoids racial issues. I don't believe that at all. Or social issues or, or just issues of injustice in your community. No, I like that. I like what Braun and them do. I like that. I, I like how they said it. Braun got a school, bro. Braun built a school. Fam, like, who am I? I'm from nothing. I come from poverty for real. Like, I love that. I love what they're doing. And I'm always going to champion that. But I think two things can be done. I think the work can be done without making me feel like I'm like, don't make me feel bad for watching the NBA. Like it's already bad enough. Y'all sat out all year. A lot of y'all took a year off. I don't just blame, blame the players because Adam Silver did this wacky schedule to try to get back on track for next year. And which pretty much you played every other night. So I don't fault the players hundred percent. It is what it is, but guys didn't take the regular season as serious as need be, especially around February, March, April. It was bad. It was bad. And the only person I gave a pass to was LeBron because LeBron always tries to play. He ain't cheated me as a fan. Kyrie cheats me sometimes. And, and by the way, I don't believe Kevin Durant. I don't know. It's been kind of weird in Brooklyn with KD, but I don't believe KD likes this either. Like KD tries to get out there and play. KD loves basketball. But you got to, if you're KD, you got to look around and be like, damn, I'm so happy I got Harden as well. Because Harden loves playing basketball. And I'm looking at Kyrie. And pretty much, like, he's pretty much telling me every other night, like, I don't love my job at all. I don't like the media. I'm incredible at my job, but I don't like doing it. Like, there's other stuff in my life that are more important. And I just don't think it's the right message to send to fans. Like, yo, Kyrie, you don't make over, like, $200 million in your career. Like, at least show a little bit of gratitude and appreciation 
to your employer. <laughs> like, is that too much to ask? Like, you don't got to bow down to them, but damn, understand the moment and understand you have, uh, uh, you, you're somebody that has a voice and it carries weight and you're supposed to promote the game of basketball, bro. Like, you're supposed to do that. Y'all get paid too much money not to promote. Maybe it doesn't say in your contract, promote the game of basketball. Y'all get paid too much money to not promote it. Sorry, not sorry. Too much money goes your way to not, to not promote. Sorry. The education can be bare minimum and you can make hundreds of millions of dollars. Where can you do that at? With bare minimum education. Where? I'm at, tell me. So I can stop with them. I'm working my ass off right now for my bucks. <laughs> tell me so I can leave this alone and go do that. But I love what I do. And Kyrie should love what he does because he's great at what he does, right? That's all. That's all I got to say. And I do hope the Brooklyn Nets lose. I think it's bad for the game if they win a championship. I'm just going to put it out there. And I, this is my first time saying that. I don't want the Nets to win because it sends a bad message to the league. Just like the Clippers last year, I don't want guys sitting out and winning championships. I don't. I want teams to be rewarded for guys playing. And then somebody's going to be like, yo, what about the Lakers? Well, LeBron, you know it was killing LeBron to not be out there. You know that. AD, I ain't going to speak for him, but LeBron's got a track record of one. He wants to play. He's, he's been on record of saying, I don't know how many games I got left. I want to produce for fans. I want to provide for fans. I want fans that pay their hard-earned money to see me to be rewarded with at least effort. LeBron and Westbrook don't cheat me. They don't cheat me not one bit. They are worth that mission. And uh, with the Brooklyn Nets, they ain't been worth that mission this year. They're great when they're there. They ain't been there. And when you cope that with the fact that Kyrie Irving is saying basketball not important and the other comments he's made this year, I have every right to believe the Nets are just sitting out games just because. And it's not necessarily because they can't play. Like if, here we go, right? Before I get out of here. If, if Kyrie, Katie, and James Harden miss no games in the playoffs, not one, bare minimum of games that uh, Kyrie, Katie, and Harden can play in Brooklyn in the playoffs is 16. The most they can play is 28 to get to a championship, right? Let's just say every series that the Nets went in the playoffs and they won the ring was seven games. I know that's not going to happen, but what? let's just say it did. If... KD, Kyrie, and Harden played all 28 games. Who are you fooling? That's telling me in the regular season, y'all were healthy some of these games that y'all missed. Y'all just ain't want to play. 